Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this tutorial on Stella 4D, a very, very powerful polyhedra construction program. I've just opened up uh, a category of Archimedean polyhedra, a particular model here, truncated icosidodecahedron. I'll show you a couple of tips that, uh, uh, a couple of settings, I guess, that I find useful. The first is under nets, and you can see here that I've got the model in one um, pane and the net in the other. Uh, there are ways of changing those options by clicking different views here when you're in a particular window. But I'll click uh, this window to make sure the net uh, pane is active. Under nets, net paper colour mixing. It's on auto but I want one colour per page because I'll feed in different coloured card into my printer and uh, print all the decagons or all the hexagons or all the squares on different colours and uh, cut them out of different coloured cardboard. Now notice if I go to print and preview you can see that it prints all the decagons there on one sheet. I'll close that. If I press the little arrow here I go to the hexagons or the squares and again under the print uh, preview you can see all the squares are there. I didn't show you how to adjust the squares, so I'll show you that uh, now too. Under scale, uh, shortest edge length here, uh, it's down to one centimetre I think this is, but I like two or three centimetres to set, depending on the, the uh, model. Let's put in three centimetres, go OK. And now if I go to print and preview, you can see they're a lot larger, take out more of a piece of coloured card. Again I'll close out of that. Uh, what else can I show you? They're the, the main things. I'd like to show you how you can produce some quite uh, different polyhedra by stellating different faces. Under poly, poly augment polyhedron. Uh, now of course I'll, I'll get an error. That's because I'm in the net window, so I'll click back on the polyhedron window. Now go to poly, augment polyhedron. And I'll just accept the defaults here for putting a pyramid on each face. If I go OK, it does it. But the great thing is you can hold down control and stretch out those pyramids. Scrolling down with the mouse wheel uh, reduces the view. And when you're ready, you can see through at the moment, but that's a bit distracting distracting so I'm going to click the tick here and it's the solid uh, model and you can see I can just click and drag and let go and spin it around hold down uh, both mouse wheel both mouse buttons to rotate in this way or we'll use the mouse wheel or just the left mouse button as I said before mouse wheel to sc uh, scroll in and out and zoom and that's quite an impressive model uh, once again found under poly augment polyhedron and selecting the pyramids option. Uh, finally, um, I'd like to show you how you can get some other views in here, but I, I, I do prefer having the main model and the nets on the right. But uh, there are options like the dual of a polyhedron, and it's quite a complex model because I've operated on an augmented one. Uh, base model and the dual together base stellation not sure what that one is, it's uh, the dual stellation and faceting, whatever that is yeah, a whole lot of settings really that uh, are a bit bizarre I think because of the model that I've chosen I'll go back to the basic polyhedron uh, that completes this uh, introductory tutorial there is a heck of a lot more in uh, Stella 4D as you can imagine a million settings. Uh, oh, just one more. Perhaps um, under view, sorry, not uh, dis uh, display, vertex and edge options. If you want to show the vertices or the edges, if I take that off, you can see the edges aren't shown here. I'm not sure what, I'll put them back and display, show edges. I'm not sure what uh, display, show vertices does. Oh, Okay, it highlights with a little white dot uh, where there are 
um, edges meeting but I find that a bit annoying so I'll take that off. Okay that completes this tutorial. Once again thanks for watching.